Hello everyone, and welcome. This is TechRN, and I'm going to be showing you how you charge the Omni 20 with a portable solar panel. Now, this video is meant to show you not exact specifics of how charging it goes, because obviously circumstance from sunlight, etc. is what's going to cause the charging to be its fastest from the solar panel. But in this one, I'm going to be charging the Omni 20 from 2% to 52% over a 6.5 hour period. There's the spoiler for you guys, but just to let you know that that's what I was able to do in this early morning Oregon sunlight condition in the early spring. Looking around, you see what the conditions look like, but it does get brighter in the afternoon. Now in this shot, what I wanted to show you guys is obviously I hook up the barrel to USB cable for the Omni charge. This is 9.15 when we start. But look on the screen, you'll see that the little battery charger indicator blinks off. So that's because of the changing light conditions that occurred early. But now we got the time-lapse sequences that are going to be happening occasionally. And I just want to show you that the screen looks like it's flashing on the Omni charge for some reason, but that's not actually what's happening. What's actually happening is the sunlight in my camera is making it look like it's flashing. But trust me, once I like shade it with my hand, everything is fine. It's just how the camera sensor is picking up the lighting from the screen for some reason. But there we see that we have about 8.30 watts coming in from the sunlight from the solar panel right now. And that's okay, but that's really not super fast for this Omni charge, considering it can take 45 watts from its AC wall adapter, which will charge it in about two to three hours. So this is going to be a slow method, but it is a method for charging it nonetheless, and that's excellent, especially considering it's a battery bank that has an AC outlet that has so much utility in survival situations. So I'm really enjoying the use of the Omni charge, by the way, you guys, I've had it for a while now, and it's still just, just rocking my socks, as the kids say, I think. So here we go, it's about 11.30, we've been charging for about 2 hours and 15 minutes if my math is right, and we see that we're getting 9.65 watts of power from the solar panel. So we're at 14% charge, we can see that the watt hours have gone up, and we are going to continue the time-lapse sequences. First I'm just showing you in here again. Check out my unboxing video in the right corner here, by the way, to see more about this solar panel. But it has two USB outputs, which is going to make it useful for something later that I'll show you in the video. So here we go, more time lapsing. And see again, it looks like the screen is flashing, but trust me, it's steady and it's steadily getting charged. Here we are, we're close to 2.30, and I'm just giving you guys intermediate, intermediate sequences of showing you what it's looking like. We're getting 9.46 watts or so with the solar panel from the bright sunlight in the afternoon sun, as we can see. It's basically, you know, well past high noon. And I'm showing you there, look, it's the Easy ACC Monster Battery Bank. See, I'm using it to charge the camera while I'm filming this video so I do love my power banks and I'm not biased I'm using them for the purpose they're intended for so here we go we're about to get to the end of the time-lapse sequence to the six and a half hours I promised you there we go it's about 345 and we see that it's at approximately 50% charge based on its screen I'm gonna power it on and show you as best I can that we did get from 2% to 50% and you can see that not many watts are coming in based on that top left number is 0.09. That's because the sunlight, see how the shade is covering it? It's no longer receiving maximal input. So check out this hypothetical charging scenario. If you're the kind of person that wants to use the Omni Charge all day instead of charging it, you could charge something like this battery bank to be your battery supply for the Omni Charge. See, check this out. If I took all three of these things camping, the Omni Charge, the Monster Battery Bank, and the Solar Panel, I can charge this battery bank that's also 20,000 mAh and have it fully filled throughout the day by this solar panel, and then when I come home from the night of filming, I can plug it into the Omni Charge, and it will charge the Omni Charge, which I'm gonna show you here inside the house. So there we go, there's the solar panel, it did its job well. And you see that it has dual outputs to match the dual inputs of the monster battery bank, so that's ideal for its charging scenario. And here we have the Omni Charge again. What I'm showing you is, again, the charging scenario that I propose is that you charge the other cheaper battery bank during the day while you're on the go, say at a campsite or something, away from the campsite, and then when you come back from the campsite, you charge the, the um, Omni Charge with that battery bank. See, you're getting a charge, and here in a second you'll see that's going to show like 12 plus watts, which is better than the sunlight from the solar panel, and is much more ide ideal for fast charging. And something I don't want you to miss here in a second is you see how it shows four, four hours or like three hours left for the charging? Yeah, right there. Three hours and 55 minutes of charging time it'll take it to be charged by the monster battery bank. That's way faster than the solar panel. So guys, thanks for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Another quick one. Please subscribe and like for more, and do check out the Amazon links. I've linked all the products I kind of showed you in the video. 
It'll help me out if you guys check it out. So thank you so much. And yep, subscribe and check out these other playlists and videos. I think you'll enjoy them. Take care, you guys, and thank you so much. Thank you.